Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Falconizer. Welcome back to our sixth day of Trails in the Sky Marathon. So last time we finally finished the first chapter, and now we're entering the chapter two. And before we go, I'm sorry if my my voice doesn't sound really good because I have no idea what's happening to me. I'm not that I'm not sick actually, but I don't know. I just woke up this morning, but suddenly my voice is like this. I I guess I'm kind of tired. Maybe I don't know. But we got games to play, so there's no time to tired. You know get tired and today we'll try to go to Ruan and plus I didn't do a lot actually after we play last last time and I don't think there's anything else to be honest right I mean I got the books already um, unless if you have something else uh-huh almost missed that I mean I can probably just still get that in the Ruan anyway so I don't think there's anything else we can do over here. Let's check some of the food stuff. Do we already eat this? I don't know, let's just go for it. Yeah, I already did, okay. Uh, yeah, we already buy. I mean, we, we still have tons of money anyway, which is nice. And okay, well, let's just go straight to the Ruan region, yeah? I'm so excited. <laughs> I wanna see what the Ruan region looks like. To be honest, uh, we need to go to Kron Pass, yeah? Uh, it's gonna be a long trip, but we'll get there. There we go, Kron Pass checkpoint. Alright. Okay. Man, we finally made it up here. Once we pass through this checkpoint, we're supposed to be in the Ruan region, right? Yep, that's supposed to be what's on the other side. But unfortunately, it's almost sundown. Maybe we should ask them to let us stay here for the night. I guess we could do that. <clears throat> but we've also got the option to hurry down through the pass and rest at an inn at the foot of the mountain, right? Crossing through the pass at night would be dangerous. With our field of vision limited, we would be on bad footing. There's also the possibility we could fall off a cliff if we were attacked by nocturnal monsters. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. You're right, I guess it could be pretty dangerous. It looks like we all we can do is explain our situation to the soldiers at the checkpoint. Yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just take a break, yeah? Don't don't off-rush it, yeah? Well, this is unusual. We don't get many travels at this hour. Do you get lost hiking along the trail? No, not exactly. We're bracers, just so you know. As I'll show the soldier her junior bracer emblem. Wow, I'm surprised to see that someone your age is a bracer. So, are you here with work then? No, actually we're traveling around the kingdom to become senior pressers. And so, we figured we'd travel on foot to get in some training instead of using an airliner. You're going to travel around the whole kingdom on foot? Maybe it has to do with being young, but kids are certainly fired up these days. Indeed. Tee Maybe that's a bit of an overstatement. But I'm going to have to tell you that trying to head down through the pass now would be suicide. Recently, we've had an untold number of monsters appearing in the area. It's quite peculiar, really. We've got a rest stop for travelers, so it will be best to stay there for the night. Sweet! Thanks a bunch. This will really help us out a lot. Don't mention it. Just talk to the chief ward officer when you are ready to hit the sack. He's in the guard station straight ahead. Got it. Thank you. He's cool. He's cool dude, you know? Alright. Uh, Prophet Eagle says this place is uh, this gets really cold after dark. Alright. Yeah, there's a rest. I mean, everybody's still full health, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I must, you know, when I saw this type of stuff, I must do it. <laughs> oh, he keeps doing it. It looks like this. Pretty cold outside, huh? Yeah, okay. Hmm, alright. What's this? It's almost time for me to go on duty. I'd better hurry up and eat while I can. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's nothing else we can do, so. Huh? And you are... We apologize for intruding at, at, at this hour, but we are actually wondering. Joshua explained the situation and asked if they could stay the night. Estelle tried to make her eyes as large and yearning as she could in the hopes of scoring some free food as well. <laughs> are you a cat for some, for some reason doing that? <laughs> I see. Well, that's no problem. I can see from the emblem that you're bracers. Feel free to use the room next to here. We really appreciate this, sir. Nice. 
Yeah. So this is the room for travelers, huh? Yeah. Let's get that fireplace on, shall we? Nice. Ah, it's so nice and warm. Mm, but you know, wood stoves just feel so much more cozy than these things. Yeah, I agree. Orman stoves may heat up quickly and they're certainly efficient, but they cannot compare with the feel of a real wood burning stove. Indeed, the classic is most amazing feel, you know. True, but those ones are much easier to use. Oh. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. I heard from the chief that you'll be staying the night. If you need anything for dinner, we'll be happy to share what we have with you if you'd like. Really? That will be wonderful, thanks. No worries, now that this airliner is ready to surface, the number of travelers coming through here just drastically decreased. Honestly, with all the free time we've got, we welcome any guests coming through here. Dee, well, in that case, we'll really make sure to eat, to eat up. Alright then, give us a little time to get supper in order. And, uh, full disclosure here, I think it's Usher's night to cook, so I hope your stomach aren't delicate. Well, <laughs> You gotta eat what you have, you gotta eat, boy. <laughs> gotta fill up that belly. There sure was a lot of rivalry going on over the Sky Bandit incident, but there are quite a few nice soldiers once you start to talk to them on a personal level. Indeed! Yeah, that's true. Although, I think Liberal is probably about the only place you're going to find nice soldiers. Huh? What do you mean by that? Don't take me too seriously. I was just thinking out loud. In the meantime, let's put our bags down somewhere. Yep. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like Joshua's real identity is that he's actually from the Empire. Trying to run away from home or something. I don't know. But he is related to the Erebonian Empire, you know? Alright. Oh man, I am so stuffed. They said not to expect much, but the food was pretty good, don't you, didn't you think? Well, I mean, that's the charm, you know? Try to lower your expectation and you will get a lot of enjoyment out of it, you know? That's why, lower your expectation on this video, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was uh, certainly like nothing I've ever had before. Excuse me for disturbing you. No problem. What is it? Oh, sir, the meal was delicious. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. R really You must have taste buds of iron. True. I mean, I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed it. Anyway, we've had another guest arrive, so if it's not too much trouble, could you two share the same room? Another guest? In the middle of the night like this? They must have some serious guts to be hiking around in, in the mountains at this hour. But no, we don't mind. It's not like we're paying to stay here either. I really appreciate that. He's actually in the same line of work as the both of you, so I'm sure you'll get along just fine. Oh, another bracer. Huh? The same line of work? Ah! I think we know who that is. It's Agate! <laughs> I know I've seen you two somewhere before. There he is! Agate! You, you were the heavy blade Agate. Oh, so you know each other already, huh? By the way, Agate, what do you plan to do about dinner? I appreciate the invitation. But I had something before coming up here. All I need is somewhere to crash for the night. Understood. Go ahead and divide up the beds amongst yourselves. Alright, good night. Man, the soldier is really polite. I like him. Serose, my boy. <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, where didn't you catch the skids? What are you doing sleeping in a place like this? And what happened to Sherazad? Sherazad returned to Roland. Now it's just the two of us traveling together. I forget what voice did I give to Agate. Sorry if I changed a lot of voices as well, because there's a lot of character. <laughs> I cannot maintain a lot of voices in the same playthrough. We're thinking of making our way around the kingdom in order to become senior pressers. We're going to see the places we want to protect and train so that we can do just that. Senior pressers? Traveling the entire kingdom on foot? You two are really a bunch of carefree brats, aren't you? I think I'll go with that. What did you just call us? There's no way the two of you are going to simply become senior pressers. Use your brains and think about it for a moment. Say what you want, but we helped in the rest of the Sky Bandits, and we've even got some recommendations, so quit treating us like we're a bunch of kids. Oh, Dad, I heard all about it from Old Man Lugren. 
Alright, let me put it to you this way. Suppose you had been the only ones there. Do you think you could have solved the incident? Just you two alone, without Sherazad's help. W well good point there. I think it will be it will have been very difficult. That's pretty obvious when you think about it, huh? You two are newbies and little brats to say the least. Not to mention you're lacking in strength and experience. You don't have the ability to make quick, sound judgments. If you get all caught up in yourselves and forget that, one of these days you're going to get a rock pulled out of out from under you. But we are not all caught up in ourselves. How about yourself, Mr. Macho Man? What were you thinking trying to hike through the pass at this hour of the night? You're either plain careless or maybe that banana just a little too tight. Watch your mouth, Brad. I'm trying to hone my to hone my skills, unlike you amateurs. And besides, I'm here for work. Don't try to compare my actions with your tourist training. Work for the guild? Yeah, that's right. The work your old man forced on me. Huh? Dad pushed this work on to you? Forget about it. I've got an early day ahead of me, so I need to get some rest. You two quit talking and get some sleep too. Man. Ah! He just avoided finishing the conversation. Well, he did drop a tidbit about Dad. That's something, at least. Enough already, you two. Just shut the hell up and let me sleep. And you better stop poking around where you should and you're gonna get burned. Instead, why don't you get your behind over to Ruan and do some job listed on the bulletin board? That's... <sighs> far better suited for the likes of you. It kinda, it kinda sounds like Neil. <laughs> I don't know what voice should I give to him. Uh, hey, it looks like he's asleep, and just as quickly as someone I know. Don't you even dare suggest that I'm anything like this jerk. What's his deal anyway? It seems to me like all he's trying to do is a pick a fight. Not really, he's just like warning, warning you. Relax Estelle, it's true we're still just novices at this. It could be that he just said that to us because he was worried about us. Mm-hmm, that is another point. Do you really think so, Joshua? I wish I could say for sure, but I don't know. But he definitely did get one thing right. We should turn in for the night. We've still got to hike down through the past tomorrow. I'm all right all up now, but I guess there's nothing to be done about it. Unless we doodle on this jerk's face and then go there. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he wouldn't wake up with the way he's snoring. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, I'm ready to take over for you. Oh, is it that time already? It really makes me wonder if anyone really needs to send stand guard with nobody coming through here. Don't you think it'd be better if we just kept the gate locked, the gate locked all night? Unfortunately, rules are rules, and it's our job to follow them. We just got over the sky bandit mess, and how now things seems to be going downhill. Uh, uh, what's the matter? Did you hear something? It sounds like some rustling leaves. You sure it's not just the wind? Oh, Here comes the bad guy. Oh wow, that's a lot of them. What the? A pack of wolves? You've gotta be kidding me. Wh what was that? Sounds like something's going on. I'm going to check it out. You two stay here. Ah! No, oh, just you wait a me. I think we'd better go see her for ourselves, just in case. Of course, that's what we should do. Alright, alright. Urgent, 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 urgent. Wolves! This is bad news. We'd better hurry and back them up. Hey, forget it, you kids. W why are you trying to stop us from helping? And you call yourself a prisoner? Don't get me wrong. It's just that it's the army's job to protect the checkpoint, not yours. These guys are well trained, so they should be able to take care of them in no time. You'd just be getting in the way. But I'm pretty sure we could. It's just like he says. This is our job. Now get back inside your three. B but. Oh, crap. W what the heck's going on here? Estelle, the other side. It seems like something's happening on the row side of the checkpoint. What? Oh, wow. Dang. This. What? Standing alone there. I incredible. 
He is even stronger than the rumors suggest. <laughs> so you intend to surrender me, huh? You're pretty clever for a bunch of mutts. We've got you covered. Hey, get back inside. <laughs> you can't stop us from helping you out. We'll try to help you out without getting in the way. Fine, whatever. Just make sure not to get caught beneath my heavy blade. Got it, boy. Got it. Let's do this, yeah? Uh, only 33. Eh. Let's see. How much damage do I deal? Half already. Well then. Don't mind if I do. Uh, there we go. Nice. And then, last one. Let's see. Ooh, Super Saiyan. Bam. 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 Ooh, that's some nasty damage right there. <laughs> I like him. I like him. <laughs> Zero damage. Why is this supposed to be a joke or something? Aren't you supposed to be stronger than this wolves? Or maybe I'm too strong. <laughs> because I already have all the best equipment I can afford. And I, I think I kinda ahead in the level as well. I don't know. I'm not sure. But that's that anyway. There we go. Oh well, level 22. That explains. <laughs> that explains. Phew, it looks like we managed to take care of them all. Yeah, there were a lot of them and they were pretty formidable. Uh, are you sure it's <laughs> pretty formidable? <laughs> it looks like you handled yourself better than I would have expected. But then again, maybe it's only natural if you learn the basics from your old man. That's true. Hmm? Don't get me wrong. I mean, you did well for newbies. You're still a heck of a long way off from becoming senior princess, though. Hey, was everything okay here? over here? Yep, everything is under A control. Yeah, it's all good. We took care of every last one of them. How's your injured guy? Luckily, he just suffered a few minor cuts and bruises. I'm just glad that you happened to be here. I should have expected as much from the heavy blade Agate. I didn't do much, and this kid didn't do a half bad job either. Is that so? Well, thanks to you, though. Too, then. Uh, sure? Well, we intend to patrol the area just in case. How about you guys get inside and get some rest? We'll do that, but you be careful. Nice. Walking alongside with the army. Mm, nice. Alright, I guess it's time for me to get back to bed. We shouldn't have to worry about any other dangers tonight. So you two, be good kids and get some sleep. Tough love, you know? Ha! <sighs> Am I imagining things or did he just give us a compliment? He may have recognized our ability. Maybe he's a lot more straightforward than we made him out to be. Um, I don't know about that, but he certainly talks big, that's for sure. Well, I mean, even he talks big, he really can do stuff, you know? <laughs> he did the job done. He, 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 yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Estelle, Estelle, wake up. <sighs> Come on, can a woman have her beauty sleep? Huh? Joshua? Is it already time to go to the guild? What are you talking about? This is the Crone Pass checkpoint. Oh, right. We had that monster scared last night and... Huh? Yeah, he is gone. Where'd the red-handed jerk go? It looks like he took off early this morning. Apparently, he had an urgent job to attend to. Oh, and after we helped him fend off those monsters last night too. How rude of him not to say anything before leaving. It's not that big of a deal, Estelle. I mean, y you can't wake as well, so... <laughs> How about we get ready ourselves? I'd like to make it through the past by noon. Alright. It's off to ruin we go. It's high noon. Let's get some rest. Let's do fill up. Our HP, you know, that could be nice. Anything worth getting? Don't think so. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, you to yourselves as well. Thanks for helping us out the way you did last night. <laughs> we didn't do much. How about you guys? Did you run into any trouble patrolling the area after that? Nope. Everything was fine, like on any normal night. I tell you what, though, that was rather strange. Strange? What was? 
You know how the lights along the roads and at the checkpoints have the ability to ward off monsters, right? Well, even if there were monsters that approached the checkpoint, they wouldn't be any more than two or three in number. So yesterday was the first time I've ever seen them come in a large pack like that. Yeah, that is rather strange now that you mention it. Then again, these monsters were small chains when compared with the Imperial Army. We should probably just consider good training in protecting our base of operations, yeah? Just like, you know, some little bit of sparring. Is that really the issue here? For us, that's all we're really concerned about. Protecting the checkpoint is paramount. We're only figuring out what the monsters were thinking up to you brazers. Now, getting back on topic. You guys are heading over to Ruan, right? Are you ready to fill out the paperwork for your gate pass? Mm, I mean, if I don't think I have anything else to do. Yeah, fill out paperwork for gate pass. Yes, thank you. As Don Joshua filled out the paperwork to enter the Ruan region. Well, that's that. It looks like you're done here. Enjoy your travels in Ruan. Thanks! The warrant officer operated the gate. Thank you. Welcome to the Ruan region. Blue oceans and white magnolias await you. Aw, oh, gee! That reminds me, you'll be heading to Ruan city, right? Yep, that was the plan. Why? Well, just make sure to report to the guild concerning the incident that happened up here last night. There will be a payment there from the army for helping us out. Really? Yeah, but you're going to have to defy your spoils with Agate. Alright, enjoy yourself and good luck in your endeavor to become senior pressers. Thanks. We really appreciate everything you've done for us. Dang, Serose. I like that guy. He's a real MVP. He's the dude, you know? That checkpoint last night. Good to practice. I guess should be better. Prepare for me to both body and mind. Alright. Got it. Got it. Ruan City. This is gonna be a really long walk. 600 cells. Oh boy, that's our game. Ooh, Manoria by rule. Wow. Estelle? Hooey. It's water. Hey, Joshua, check it out. It's the ocean. Yes, I think I would have figured that out. It's so blue and sparkly and just huge. And the sound of the waves and the smell of the tide. So this is what it all feels like. So this is the first time you've seen the ocean? Well, I can't kinda sorta of remember seeing it when I was really young. I was on an ocean liner with Dad that one time. This might be the first time I've seen it up close though. I see. It's been a long while for me as well. We got here by walking though. No ship this time. Yep, I feel like we've accomplished something. Nice. That is amazing. So, yeah, let's just continue our pilgrimage, <laughs> not really pilgrimage, our uh, journey, I guess. Ooh, Manoria Village. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> Civilization at last. And with all these pretty white flowers blooming everywhere too. What did you say this place was called? Manoria. It's a little seaside village with an inn. And the white flowers are a type of hibiscus. They're so pretty. The ocean and the flowers together, it smells great around here. Hmm. It also makes me kind of hungry. <laughs> Only you could work up an appetite from smelling flowers. Just make sure you eat the food and not the flowers. Hey, I'm growing. I'm a growing girl. It's almost noon anyway, so what would you say to lunch? Fine by me, but do we have any provisions? Um, why don't we get something local? It's such a nice, quiet little town. I mean, we just got to Ruan. That's true. Okay, let's go check out the inn and tavern. Uh, is this now? Is this uh, is this just a normal house? So nice, nice, nice. Uh, uh, there's a kid's uh, elder's house. Do we should go there right away? Nah, let's just look around for a second. Okay. Mm, there's nothing else. Okay, this is I guess like a warehouse, the village warehouse something. This is the restaurant. And woo. Hello. Flower shop. 
Eh, I don't really need that much. If you order general goods. Ooh, fancy. You have some general goods over here. Mm, anything worth getting? Uh, I mean, I should get some more reviving bomb. Just in case, you know. Yeah, let's buy five of them. Just in case. Uh, yeah, I guess that's good enough. Well, there's no equipment shop. I mean, it's fine. Okay, let's go talk to the elder. I don't know why I talk a, l a little... Uh, what is it called? Smooth, not really smooth. <laughs> oh, so are you travelers? So if you're looking for a place to eat, I suggest you try the White Magnolia. They've got good food, and you get a fair amount of your money. It's worth checking out. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. Ah, more travelers. Welcome to Magnolia. And at one time, this village was quite a note for its inn. But with the advent of airships, we've seen far less traffic. Nowadays, we survive only because of famous flowers. Ah, that's sad. Hmm. I think it's because of the music. That's, that's why I talk a little lower <laughs> like this. <laughs> uh, uh, the Heart Pila. Ooh, okay. Let's learn that. And shop. Anything worth getting? Yeah, buy this. Uh huh, buy this. Nice. Okay. Uh, so hold on. Let's just check upstairs. Uh, oh, wow. This room is VIP for some reason, I think, because you have the uh, outdoor as well, which is nice. This is super nice. <sighs> I can spend all my time over here, <laughs> it's so nice. Uh, let's talk. Hey, come, welcome. We're for some food, I'd be happy to have you. I make it up myself and I'll be a nice band. Maybe talk to you. Yep, there we go. Welcome to the White Field Magnolia. I don't recall seeing you before. Are you here for a vacation? No, we're just passing through on our way to Ruan. We came from Bose by way of the Kuran Pass. You're joking! Wow, I never thought I'd met another person brave enough to handle that place in that this day and age. You're into hiking, I assume? No, not especially. It sure works up an appetite, though. Is there anything you'd particularly recommend? Oh yes, I suggest try the box lunch. What's that? That windmill at the edge of town has a platform with a great view. Every day at lunch, lots of people buy them and take them there to eat. Ooh, nice. Oh, that might be nice. From what you were saying, it sounds like something I'd like. Well, why don't we try it? What kind of box lunches are there? Well, there's the smoked ham sandwich and the seafood paella. And that would be good, in my opinion. Dang, I'm kinda hungry now. <laughs> hmm, I think I'll try the sandwich. Then I'll have the seafood paella. Thank you. That'll be 120 Mira. Dang, that's super cheap. Received special box lunch. And I'll toss in some herb tea at no charge. It's my specialty. Thanks. Want to go over to the viewing platform? Sure. Thanks, bruh. Man, it's super nice deal as well. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm I'm about to say it's your side, but no, it's a different person. I've already checked here. It's not in the general store either. Who are you? Damn, where could he be? Get a move on, Joshua. Whoa, Estelle, watch where you're going or BAM! There we go. Ah! Oof! Ow! I'm sorry, are you okay? I wasn't paying attention to where I was going and... No, no, it's alright. Pardon me, I confess my attention was elsewhere as well. Oh, okay. So I guess we're even. I swear, Estelle, what are you doing? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I'm sorry if she disturbed you. You're not hurt, I hope. No, I'm fine. Ooh, does Joshua know her? I was looking for someone and I wasn't watching where I was going. Oh, who are you looking for? A little boy, about 10 years old, wearing a cap. I don't suppose you've seen him by any chance. A boy in a cap? You see anyone like that, Joshua? Not that I can recall, no. I see. How could he be? If you'll excuse me, sorry to have caused you any trouble. <sighs> huh. There must be something going on with her. Joshua? 
Hello? Calling Joshua. Come in, Joshua. Oh, uh, what is it? Gee, I wonder. Oh, I get it. I see what's going on. What half-baked idea are you cooking this up this time? Now, now, no need to be shy about it. I see the way she set your heart aflutter. Absolutely not. I just think I've met her before, a long time ago. Uh huh. I was just surprised. Hmm. Met her before, you say? As pickup lines go, I give it 30 points. Moving on, don't you recognize her uniform? Now that you mention it, isn't that the same outfit that you said used as a disguise? Yep, the Janice Royal Academy uniform. Since we're in Rowan, it's not all that surprising to see someone wearing one. Ah, so that's a real thing then. She seemed polite and smart and refined. Totally different from that scruffy crude pretender, in other words. <laughs> What are you talking about? You said that you completely fooled from the get-go. <laughs> that is true. Oh, that's right. You teased me about it then, too. Well, if you get taken for a fool again, don't expect me to help you. Grr. <laughs> Instead of picking on me, why not work on becoming a better judge of character? Alright, alright. Fine, I won't pick on you anymore. Good. Now, why don't we go have lunch up on the viewing platform? Fine. <laughs> uh... There's uh, nothing you can do about that. So the platform will be over here. Whoa, check out this view. Yep, you can practically see the entire ocean from here. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, that's good. Getting to eat. At a pla nice place like this, really makes it feel like you're living it up, huh? It sure does. So, shall we have ourselves a little picnic then? Sure. I'm starving. Me too, actually. I'm pretty, I'm pretty hungry. Get a lot of this smoked ham sandwich. Hmm, it smells so good. I'm looking forward to eating my seafood paella, personally. I love the smell of saffron. Well, let's dig in. Yes, let's. Time for that first bite. Wow, it's as good as it smells. The lettuce is super fresh and crunchy. The pala is really good too. Just the right amount of saffron. My compliments to the chef. Hey, can I have a bite? I've never tried pala before. Alright, how about we share? Mm, but my hands are full. I know, you can feed me. Feed you? Yep. Ah... Uh... This is a little embarrassing. Oh, it's fine. It's not like anyone's watching. Unless you can let loose, you'll never enjoy yourself. It's not being seen that makes it embarrassing. I don't have much of choice here, do I? Joshua fed Estelle a bite of the bella. Ah, so cute. Monstro. Mmm, delicious. That's some pretty fantastic seafood. I don't know what the sweet peppery smell is, but it really adds something. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, I'm being selfish, aren't I? Okay, give this a try. Estelle pushed a sandwich into Joshua's mouth. Perhaps a little too enthusiastically. That's pretty tasty, but really, didn't you have to do that, you know? <laughs> I know. Oh boy. Ah, that hit the spot. The herbal tea we got with our meals was pretty good. Yeah, it was nice and warming without sitting all heavy. The breeze is so nice, makes me kind of sleepy. They say you shouldn't sleep right after eating, but maybe a little post-meal nap isn't so bad in moderation. Yeah. Huh? Hmm. What type of bird is that? Kind of like an eagle or something. Seagull? Okay. <laughs> kind of looks like more than an eagle instead of seagull, to be honest. But anyway, hey, did you see that bird? It looked like a seagull, except it was huge. Yeah, the wings were a different shape and the beak was sharp. Maybe it was a falcon or an eagle? A white falcon? Didn't know they made them in that color. Hmm, I wonder if it's a sign of good fortune in our future. <laughs> that would be nice. 
Hey, I thought you were sleepy. Oh, not anymore, I guess. Maybe you should get going then. I'd like to check in with the Ruanian Guild branch and get all paperwork squared away. Oh, right. Okay, I had to leave, but I guess we have to. Oh, we used to fast. I want to spend a little bit more time over here. So nice. Ah, oh, there we go. Whoa! Today must be my day for just randomly running into people. Sorry about that. I'm just looking for somebody. Say, you're not from around here, are you? Nope, we're from out of town. Hey, aren't you... Wh what? We ran into a girl who said she was looking for a boy who was wearing a cap. You know anything about that? Oh, I'm looking for her, actually. Where did you see her? Over by the tavern. It was a little while ago, though, so I'm not sure where she went. Would you like us to help you search? No, that's okay. I'm pretty sure I can find her. Okay, bye! Alright then. That kid seems pretty energetic. He reminds me a little of Luke back in Roland. I wonder what the kids are up to now. What's wrong? Uh, it might just be my imagination, but have you lost anything? Lost what? Anything you're wearing? Like money, pouch, or something? Why are you asking all of that sudden? Let's see. Pouch, check. Hairband, check. Bracer emblem, gone. <laughs> I knew it. What the? What is it? Did I drop it in the mountain pass or something? Calm down. I remember that you had it when we were eating lunch. If you lost it, it has to be somewhere around here. But, but, we're around here. That kid. Oh, no way. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. It was probably that kid. I'll bet that. I'll bet it happened when you accidentally ran into you. What? Why would he want my breast and emblem? What reason does a kid have for wanting anything? He probably just took it because he could. <laughs> uh, oh, he's in so much trouble. Once I get my hands on him, he's gonna get the spanking of his life. Now, calm down. For now, let's focus on figuring out where he is. Alright then, we play detective then, shall we? Hmm. You saw something? Hey, what's wrong? I have a question for you. You haven't seen a little boy in a cap around here, have you? Hmm, let me think. Was he a student's guest at the Royal Academy? Yes, actually. Do you know the boy? He's not from this town. I think he's one of the orphans. Huh? From Mercia Orphanage. A woman called Matron Teresa is the administrator. She takes in kids who've lost their parents. It's just off the cold seaside way to the east. So the kid lives there. Let's go check it out. Well, I mean, that was spice. I mean, is that really it? I mean, let's try. Some people say there's different. Okay, so it's different. So that. Really? Should I really only should talk to her? her? <laughs> Anything else? I didn't actually ask. Okay. Uh, anything? Yeah. Anything else? Uh, talk. Hang on, lots of people. Yeah, so. I guess that's about it. Wait, let me check. Uh, there we go. You're already there. Uh, number of monster. Okay, so there's nothing. Well. I guess let's go. <laughs> I mean, okay. Oh, Mercia Orphanage. <laughs> there we go. Then we should go there first before Rowan, right? Mercia Orphanage. Looks like it's up ahead. Yeah. What's wrong, Estelle? Okay, that settles it. The situation has nothing to do with it. It's not okay to take things from people. When we find him, we need to punish him. <laughs> Leave it to you to get all worked up over it. But for right now, you need to just settle down, okay? Yeah. Let's just go there. Mercia Orphanage. Ah, oh, there he is. I swear, Clam, where did you go? Miss Chloe is gonna be worried about you. <laughs> no, she won't. Not after I show her the awesome thing I got. What you get, Clem? <laughs> now don't freak out or anything. I just borrowed it from some crazy lady I ran into. Who are you calling crazy? What? Ah! What are you doing here? 
I'm a bracer, give me a little credit. Whatever I delinquent like you ghosts, we'll figure it out in no time. Damn it, well, you're not catching me. Hey, get back here. Really? You just hide there? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Hey, mister, what's going on? Did Clem do something bad again? Um, sorry to barge in like this. Damn it, let go! Let me go! I'll show you for child abuse. <laughs> really? <laughs> You're a real brat, you know that. Now give me back my emblem. You got no proof I took it. Well, you're right on that, Nevan, but that's nothing a quick search won't fix. Yeah! <laughs> hey, get it out, tentacles! Pervert abuse! Come on, just give it up and hand over what you took. Seek! Oh, what? What the hell was that? Oh. Oh, hello. Get away from the boy. Lay another hand on him and you'll have me to go. Huh? Hey, you the... I remember you from Anoria. Scree? Help me, Miss Chloe. I didn't do anything and she's being mean to me. Didn't do anything, my butt. You stole my emblem. Heh, <laughs> so where's your proof? And no tickling this time. <laughs> hey, we meet again. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, I thought for sure that a thief had broken in. I assume there's a reason for all this. There sure is, Mrs. Miss Chloe. Clem was being bad again. Hey, is the apple pie ready yet? You'll have to wait a little longer. It still needs to time to bake. You friggin' brat. Child abuser. <laughs> These two seems pretty get along really well, aren't they? <laughs> when are you gonna grow up, Clem? Is the pie done yet? Oh. <laughs> This has gotten out of hand. Oh, <laughs> yes, I suppose it has. Scree! My, what's all the noise? My turn, Teresa. I don't know the full story, but it sounds like Clem's been up to no good. Hey, no fair! I didn't do anything! The pervert lady just says I did! Who you calling a pervert? Oh dear, this won't do. Clem, did you really not do anything? Of course not! Did you swear to Ideos? I... I swear! I see. It's just that you dropped some kind of bed, badge in the nursery earlier. That wasn't yours, was it? But... but... it was in my pants pocket! Uh, I told you! <laughs> oh my! Nicely done. Clem, no more excuses. Give her back what you stole. Alright, alright, I'll give it back, so just drop it. Clem tossed the emblem over to Estelle. Whoa! Heh, <laughs> I'm outta here! Clem! It's alright, he'll be back when he starts getting cold. More to the point, why is everyone standing around? Why don't you tell me the whole story of a cup of tea? Estelle introduced herself and explained about the recent events of over a veritable feast of tea and pie. I want pie. I want some tea. <laughs> I see. He really isn't a mean-spirited child, but he can be quite the little trickster. As his guardian, I must apologize. I am, tru I am truly sorry. Oh, it's okay. I got my emblem back. Plus, I got some tasty herbal tea and apple pie out of it, so we're square. <laughs> Thank you both. The tea was really the best part, though. It's just like the kind of they brew in the tavern. Is it grown locally? Yes. Gardening is one of my hobbies, actually. I give some to the barkeep at the tavern whenever I have extra. Neat! I'm gonna have to give my food to the apple pie though. It was pl just plain amazing. <laughs> well, I cannot take credit for that. She made it. She? Who? You, Chloe? This is still so embarrassing. I was really rude earlier. To think I could be so mistaken. Oh, don't worry about it. Apple pie heals all wounds or something like that. That is true! <laughs> Besides, I wasn't acting like any kind of saint myself. That white hawk sure surprised the hell out of me, though. Oh, that was he. He's a grief gr gear falcon. A gear falcon? That's liberal national bird, isn't it? You seemed really uh, comfortable with him. Is he your pet? No, I don't keep him. He's a close friend, though. Wow, as 
friends go, he's pretty awesome. That reminds me, aren't you a student at the Royal Academy? But you live here? No, I stay in the dorms on campus. It's not that far away, so I like to come and visit when I can. I sometimes worry I might be kind of a bother though. Oh dear, please don't think that. You're always so helpful when you come by. And the children are always happy to see you. Matron, I personally worry that you might be neglecting your duties at school in favor of us. I know that's a silly concern to have about you. I won't let you down. Hmm, you live on campus, huh? I've always kind of wanted to know what, what, what that was like. I imagine that we got a weekly taste of it at the church lessons. But isn't the entrance exam for the academy pretty hard? I think my head would explode if I had to take an exam like that. <laughs> It's not so hard. I think it must be far more difficult to become a bracer. You know, I've always kind of wanted to be one ever since I was a little girl. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. You call me a bracer, but I'm still just an apprentice. We still have we have to travel all over the kingdom before we can advance. I think we'll be in ruin for a little while though. In that case, perhaps I'll have a chance to repay you. Plus, the children would love for you to come back and play again. I'll prepare a whole mountain of tea and baked goods. Okay, that works, you know. I always down for the food. Some nice tea and apple pie. My Tante Teresa, she is a nice lady. Yes, she is very motherly. <laughs> I'm sure all the children here think of her as their mother. See? Oh, see, where are you waiting for me? Scree! That's right, they're not here to hurt anyone. This is Estelle and that's Joshua. You remember them, right? Scree! Good boy. Wow, you can actually talk to him? Well, he doesn't actually talk per se, but I can understand what he's trying to say. We've always been able to tell what the others is feeling. Whoa, Bertelefati is so cool! Sounds like mutual love to me. It is. Hello, Sik. I'm Estelle. It's nice to meet you. Now, read my mind. <laughs> Scree? Scree! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> are, are my thoughts too complex to read? If you were thinking of what I think you were thinking of, then... No. Snicker. <laughs> oh, by the way, aren't you two headed for Ruan? Yeah, we're planning to register at the Rockwell Guild. If we don't do that, we can't work. Well, if you're going to the Ruanian guild, I have a few things to do over there myself. Maybe I could show you around. Really? That'd be great. But don't you have to go back to school soon? No, it's alright. I got special permission to be out today. I don't have to return until after nightfall. Sounds like a plan then. Let's go to Ruan. Alright, let's go there and probably I'll just... I'm gonna leave the episode there as well. But let's get some eggs, yeah? <laughs> Give me eggs! Mr. Max, there we go. <laughs> Told you there's some eggs. <laughs> okay, let's get inside. Let's explore quite a bit. Maybe there's something else, you know. Come back soon. See you again. This my yeah. Uh, uh, this the kids' room. Pretty, pretty nice. Oh, Polly, Settle and Josh, Sal and Josh, you gotta come and play some more again, okay? All right, man. All right, all right. So we got our stuff. So let's just go. Miss Chloe, Clem. Oh, is that Brad? You know you should be playing around here. What would you do if a monster attacked you? I just had to come apologize to you. I'm sorry for lying about the amber thingy. <laughs> well, don't worry. I'm not mad at you. But isn't there something else you should be apologizing to? Eh! No, no, there isn't. Hmm? I know you're a good boy. So why don't you go and apologize? Well, if you want me to, I guess I gotta. Um, Miss Brazen Lady, um, I'm sorry. Oh, uh... <laughs> You're apologizing to me, so there is justice in this world. <laughs> hey, hey, don't get me wrong. I just wanted to apologize, Miss Chloe. Aren't Brisa supposed to pay attention to what's going on? 
If a little kid like me can grab something off you so easily, why should I excuse? Gah! <laughs> bye bye! Make sure you hone that training of yours before you lose something even more valuable. Ooh, that's deep! That's deep! What a little brat! Settle down, he was just trying to hide his own embarrassment. Not to mention, you really aren't the most attentive person in the world. Maybe you should heed his advice. Grr, you're an even bigger brat. <laughs> you two must be really close. I mean, you act like brother and sister. I mean, they are technically, yes. Err, uh, we do? Only in so far as we try to look out for each other. Oh, that's a big help. <laughs> I'm honestly a little envious. I was only... I was only... I was an only child. I wish I knew what kind of relationship feels like. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, shouldn't we be heading out? We can get the ruins just by following the beach. Okay, let's get going then. Alright. How long does it take? Ooh, 238 such. So it's still a decent amount of walk. But we'll get there. Here it is. North block. Oh yeah. Pretty fancy. Wow, so this is Ruan. This is one gorgeous city. The blue water and white buildings do make for a nice contrast. It certainly feels like a port city. <laughs> well, it promises many various things. There's a lighthouse not far from here, in a little park on the coast. We will be there. On the other side of town, there's a pretty neat looking church too. But the biggest attraction of all has to be... Langland Bridge. What's so special about it? It connects the north and south districts of the city. And more importantly, it's a drawbridge. A drawbridge, huh? Yeah, that might be interesting. The Bristol Guild is just past here, past there, in the middle of, a, of the main street. Just in front of the bridge. Okay then, let's go there first. Alright. Should we go there? Because I feel like if I didn't go there, I cannot do a lot of side quests. But you know, let's just go for it. So I'm sorry if this gonna, this episode gonna be a little bit longer as usual. So yeah, good afternoon. Oh, huh? Where's the receptionist? Oh, ooh, Karna. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Fancy. Oh, hello there. Can I help you? Um, John is currently in a meeting with the guests on the second floor. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but is there something I can help you with? Uh, well, we're not here as customers or anything. Oh, the emblems. I see. So we're in the same business then. My name is Karna. I work here at the Rowan branch. Are you new in town? I don't recognize you. Yep, I'm Estelle, Junior Bracer. Same goes for me. I'm Joshua. It's a pleasure to meet you. Estelle and Joshua. That's right. You're the new kids from Roland then. You two were involved in some big to-do with Sherazad in Bose, weren't you? Um, <laughs> well, I don't know if I put it quite like that. Were you expecting us? Yes, John told me about some promising up-and-comers. But I'm afraid you cannot change assignments until he is available. Why not go sightseeing to kill some time until then? I suppose so. It beats sitting around and waiting. Totally with you. Oh yeah. Um, would you want to hang out with us a little longer? We only just met, and I'd hate to just part so suddenly. Ah, suddenly. So long as I won't be a bother or get in your way. Woohoo! That settles it then. We can all go take in the sights of Ruan. And then we'll come back in a little bit. Sure, have fun. Well, shoot. I cannot finish it. Ah! <laughs> I'm just waiting to finish it. I'm sorry, but there's many upstairs. But okay, fine. Well, I guess time to save. Uh, save right over here. Ba bam! There we go. So I guess that's it. So uh, sorry again if this is going a little bit too long from the past episode, but I don't know. I feel like I want to finish in the place where I can explore or do some stuff as well. So yeah, I don't know if I can. If I still can do a lot anyway. But I don't know. We'll, I'll just try to see around. Especially on the weapon shop and the herbal, herbal, herbal shop as well. And then try to explore a little bit. And try to grind on the shining palm. 
<laughs> because it's the best thing to grind <laughs> so gives a lot of experience and a lot of uh Sabbath as well which is nice so yeah i guess i'm gonna leave this episode here for now and if say, like say if there's a like a story progress happens while i explore i'll just i'll just uh what is it close the game and reload and so i don't spoil myself as well so don't worry about it don't worry about it guys so yeah Anyway, I guess that's it for today. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming. Thank you for everyone to gather with me. Spread love, spread the fun, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!